So one of the awesome new upgrades of the Mini 4 Pro is the OcuSync 4 technology. As you can see, there are antenna on my controller here, and also I expect antenna in the new legs that have been situated on the drone itself. Now, one of the issues with my Mini 3 Pro, which I overall loved, I did get some transmission and interference problems when I flew over high interference areas. So of course, these drones do connect using standard radio band technology or Wi-Fi over the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. And the OcuSync technology is able to automatically adjust those connections as the need arises. So let's go ahead. We'll get the drone into the air and we'll see if I can get a better signal transmission with the Mini 4 Pro than what I have been used to with the Mini 3 Pro. Home point updated. And is it just me or does the Mini 4 Pro seem to be a little bit of a faster drone? I'm gonna start by raising the height to about 200 feet there. And I'm going to head over to an area. Now, this isn't a range test. I wanna make that absolutely clear to you guys. Okay, I'm not pushing the maximum range here. I simply want to see how the drone handles high interference areas. But yet, yeah, as I flew over these sets of houses in times past with my Mini 3 Pro, I would have all sorts of problems losing connection. It would be a right nightmare. But so far, we seem to be flying okay here. I'm at a distance already, wow, of over 1200 feet and we've barely lost one signal bar. I can tell you something now, this was not possible with my DJI Mini 3 Pro. I would often have lost connection with the automatic return to home functionality already kicking in. Okay, it looks like we are struggling a little bit, but the OcuSync technology is pretty much doing its job and readjusting the connection. Let's go ahead and raise the height a little more as that should, oh, not too high. We don't want to go above the limit there. So we'll raise it to 400 feet and just keep pushing a little bit if we can. I have never got this sort of range on the Mini 3 Pro, not over this particular built up area. It's just not possible for me. And in fact, I don't want to fly anymore because we're at 2000 feet, which is you know, really pushing the limits of line of sight there. But I am really impressed with that. Let's fly over here. There is so much Wi-Fi interference. It's not, you know, a full on city or anything like that, but with all these houses, there is, as I say, a lot of Wi-Fi uh, going around this place. And the Mini 4 Pro is doing a stellar job here for me at keeping the connection. I am getting weak signal warnings, but I've not a single time lost actual responsiveness with the drone. All my commands have been inputted and the drone has responded to those without issue. Yeah, this has just been fantastic. Now, you may be thinking, but the drone is rated for yay amount of kilometers of range and I only reached 2000 feet, what's that about? Well, those tests that DJI do where they rate those sorts of things are in perfect conditions with no Wi-Fi interference in huge open spaces, probably in the desert or something. Whereas, of course, that is not the real world, real world test that I'm conducting right now. But what I really wanted to see is how the Mini 4 Pro compares with its OcuSync 4 technology to the Mini 3 Pro, which did not have these external antennas. And it has done a much better job. We didn't lose the screen a single time. The return to home functionality never had to kick in. And although we did get some signal or weak signal warnings, we still had full control of the Mini 4 Pro. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's better than I expected it was gonna be based on flying the Mini 3 Pro so much around here. Landing. So as I said in the flight, this was definitely a remarkable improvements over the capabilities of the Mini 3 Pro. Now, again, some of you may be thinking, but it was only 2000 feet, but honestly, everything's relative. This has been a remarkable improvement for me with flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro that I'm used to. I mean, let's be honest, it's probably the increased size of the antenna on the controller and likely in these legs as well that weren't present on the Mini 3 Pro. But folks, as always, I'm definitely intrigued to hear what your results have been in testing the Mini 4 Pro, especially 
if you have been able to compare it to the Mini 3 Pro. Have you noticed increased results and better transmission overall? Please do share those thoughts down in the comments. But if you wanna see more Mini 4 Pro testing and just more videos about the various features that this drone offers, please do stick around the channel. It's great to have you around here. We've got an awesome community. Thank you for stopping by, have a great day.